Hello. Uh, this morning, as I'm recording this, is Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. And I would like to remind the people of Canada United Church that our Ash Wednesday service will be tonight uh, with Glencairn United Church over there. And it's our service together. It's at 7 o'clock, so you're more than invited to, to attend uh, this event. And this morning, like I said, I finally watched uh, the United Church uh, Forum called uh, The Diaspora. There was an article in The Observer about this, seems to be this generation that was raised in the church and very active, do not, are not necessarily involved with the church, but seems to live the value of the church. I, so I watched the, uh, the, 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 it was a forum, like a webinar, it was recorded. I will put a link just under it if you want to watch it. And also the very interesting um, video from uh, Romiko Sokolovsky. I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounce her name. Um, three minutes uh, about talking about her experience, about raising in a church and... Uh, you know what's what's our understanding of what it means to be a church today very interesting because it has the question you know that we hear over and over and over where are the young people where are they why are they not coming oh they will come wait 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 they will return to us and i think it they tackle something interesting because it's there's a huge part about perception and for a generation, the millennials, for the, uh, the what's called the Y generation, um, church seems to be, yes, old fashioned, old people, rigid, but there's a point about church seems to be disconnected from the rest of their life. In church, in United Church, we talk about membership. You need to be a member. It's so important. And we have genera uh, a generation that talks about to belong. You know, it's it's not a legal requirement to belong. Um, there, We have a generation that working with computer, social media, interact. That's the way they were taught in school. And then we expect them to come here on Sunday morning to sit down and to shut up and to listen and use only one sense. We, this cell phone, smartphone, has become the norm. Everybody seems to have one. And then they come here and they told, don't you dare touching it as soon as you enter those walls. We have... A generation that want to ask questions and too often we have church people want to give them answer instead of exploring question there's so many examples like this that we're telling people that you know like life is here and church is here and and church is better than life it's more sacred it's more important mm -hmm. and we have people ask telling us why it's not together why it's not together? Why should I be different on Sunday morning than I am on Tuesday evening? Why one it's more sacred, one more holier than the other? And I think it's very relevant as we're beginning, the, beginning this time of Lent, as we are invited to reflect on our faith, on our spirituality, on our religious experiences, as, as we're invite to, invited to prepare ourselves for Easter to think about us instead of trying to attract them to wonder what's wrong with them and let's talk about us why and and ask the question why are we dissociated the religion and life where does it come from what does it accomplish why do we have to be someone else dress differently, speak differently, behave differently when we are inside walls of a building and not inside. Why alcohol is totally forbidden in a church, but the group can meet in the pub 
and that's okay. All those questions that seems to be very relevant, so simple, and sometimes we don't want to address them. So I hope this week, in the next few weeks, you will take time to ask those difficult questions. Not about them, but about us. And wonder why? Why? Is it because we were raised that way? Yeah, but there's many things that we had in our youth that we don't do anymore. We would not like it anymore. So why did we stuck with it in our church, in our congregation, in our buildings? I hope we will have the courage to ask those questions and to see where it could lead us. I hope you will have a great Hash Wednesday, a great beginning of Lent. It will lead and I hope it will lead all of us to new understanding. Take care and see you very soon.